Ladies and gentlemen, it is Monday the 22nd of October, which is my 26th birthday, and I've just come into my dressing room <laughs> to this. Look at it. And there was flowers at stage door, big pile of stuff. So exciting, yay! Let me put my camera down and then I'll talk to you properly. Ah, oh, these are from Jody Steele. Oh, it's so exciting! I've just had a voice note from my friend Adam. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> also, the orange coat has made a comeback, by the way. It suddenly got that little bit too cold today and I went, you know what? Today is the day. So if I put this in the fridge. Hi, Bex! Hello, darling. Chris. <laughs> This is so exciting. Thank you, War of the Worlds team. Ooh la. Can you imagine if I'm like, oh, that's really bad. Thank you. What you got me? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take two well backs. That's my bed. I'm ripping it, I'm ripping it. What is it? What is it? What is it? Squad. Oh, that's quite cool, isn't I it? I love that! Your that's my favourite! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> Thank you! It's preparing on Halloween! That's the best. Thank you so much to Emma Platt for the brownies! Salted caramel, triple chocolate and peanut butter from Bad Brownie from Emma Platt. Thank you so much. So excited. The box smells outrageous. And thank you so much to the glorious front of house team who bought me these two lovely books from my favourite bookshop, Hatchards. Such a sweet surprise. birthday today I've also decided to run something called secret Satan which is essentially secret Santa but for Halloween Heather's closes before Christmas so we'll never get to do secret Santa and it feels much more Heather's to do a Halloween based secret Santa so we're calling it secret Satan ladies and gentlemen of Heather's company this is your act one we're gonna call your call please for company so I'll tell you quickly company. so the name was Jamie's idea and originally he was gonna be running it with me but then he just bailed so I had the idea to do um, Everyone puts their names into a bucket, but then also there's an equal amount of tricks and treats. If you pick out a treat, then it's just you buy a present. If you pick a trick, you've got to make the present. I'm really excited about this. It's, I, I mean, I've never heard of this being done before and it's a really fun thing. And I've also bought some spooky Harry bow for everyone as well. So everyone's been coming into my room and picking their, their names and their tricks and treats. And I'm not taking part, so I get to oversee everything. And I'm taking a note of who's treating and tricking who just to make sure that you know no one forgets and someone doesn't end up without a present so so excited do you want to tell tell everyone what your birthday present to me was today just go out to a new bar the gel bar <laughs> the gel bar <laughs> come on tell me what you said uh yeah, there's a bit of the show there's a book I meant to say oh, look she was reading the bell talk she was reading the gel bar the bell job. <laughs> yeah. It was amazing. It was amazing. Best birthday present ever. Thank you. <laughs> it's my birthday bells.
gentlemen, I'm in a little bit of tears because today it's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. But it's also Secret Satan, which is something that I've organized for the cast. So we're currently in Wardrobe Village um, and everyone has a seat assigned to them with their name in front of it. So I wanted it to be like Secret Santa, like Christmas morning, where everyone comes down and their presents are already there. So if we go along the line, Alex is away today, he's not very well. Look at all the lovely gifts. I'm gonna skip over here. Yay! I'm going to look at you! Yay! Look at you! Yay! Happy Halloween, everyone! Woo! I know I'm pretty irrelevant as uh, most old school YouTubers go, um, <clears throat> but I still want to explain why I haven't been around recently. I've just not been very well, nothing serious, um, just a really long bout of tonsillitis and uh, because I, I didn't know that it was tonsillitis, I just thought it was a cold and so thought, you know, just some Lemsip will fix it. Um, it just got sort of worse and worse and worse to the point where my voice just stopped working so I had to take a little bit of time off work and because my tonsillitis went untreated for so long, I then got something called guttate psoriasis, which is like a big horrible rash that I now have on like my back and my stomach that won't go away for a while. Um, <laughs> so I've just not been in the best place. Um, so making videos has been sort of like the last thing on my mind whilst I just try and get myself better and do my job at Heather's to the best of my ability. I'm on all the antibiotics in the world, um, so I'm starting to feel a little bit better, which is good. I turned 26, I had my birthday, as you saw from the beginning of this video. And whilst I've been ill, I've not really had much brain capacity to do anything other than sit on the sofa and watch stuff. Um, but I get restless and bored really quickly, even when I'm not feeling too well. But I just like having something to show for my time. I don't know how I found it or how I stumbled across it, but I found this woman's YouTube channel. Her name is Johanna. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I want to say Cloth. I will link to her channel below. But she makes junk journals. To my little knowledge of it, junk journaling is like a haphazard way of scrapbooking. This is the one that I'm currently working on. Originally I wasn't going to junk journal in this, I was just going to start journaling in this again um, because I was looking at old journals and realised how much I missed just writing for me, knowing that no one was really going to see it. But now this has kind of turned into a little junk journal. So I've got like old cards, that's a birthday card from Scott. Um, some stickers from Disney, um, my like tickets to my signings at Eason's last year. This is the little notes that were handed out with the snowballs at Christmas Christmasaurus last year. And I'm just having like such a great time making all of this. <laughs> and yeah, it's just something really fun to do when you've not got much brain capacity for anything else. But this was a pre-made notebook that was given to me by someone in Singapore. But then, ooh, whoops, sorry. But then I was looking at Johanna's YouTube and she actually makes the journals out of old hardcover books. So I thought, why not give it a go? And I ended up making this. This was an old book from a charity shop I got for two pounds called Men, Women and Pianos. I don't know why that made me laugh so much, but I've turned it into a junk journal that I'm gonna use for 2019. Um, and I, I honestly cannot tell you how proud I am of this. I put all the pages together myself, cut them all out, which is why the edges are really not neat, um, and then sewed them all into the book and the end papers are this, the end papers actually have a cute story. This was the wrapping paper that I used to wrap the first ever present I bought for Oliver back in Edinburgh last year. Um, I bought him an opening night present, which was just my favorite book because he said that he wanted to read more, although I think he was just trying to impress me at the time. And because he loves coffee so much, I found this coffee wrapping paper um, and I had loads left over and I must have kept it and I found it in an old drawer um, and so decided to just use that as a nice little reminder of Oliver when I'm using this. And today I made a new one, I made a little one. I found this uh, again in the same charity shop down the road on my high street. Um, I liked it because it's TARDIS blue. Um, and yeah, just did the same thing. This is a, a more alcoholic <laughs> wrapping paper. It's lots of bottles, a very strange, um, thank you, alcohol. Um, but yeah, just did the same thing. 
and I'm just, I'm having such a good time making these. So sorry, I've been MIA for the last however long. Um, I've just not been very well. I've actually written down some goals for 2019 in here and one of them is vlog better. Lots of love, stay warm, stay hydrated, get your flu jab. Also, I just got my Anthony Nolan stem cell register card through the post. Um, if you are interested in joining the stem cell register, it's really super easy. They just send you like two cotton swabs that you just rub in each cheek and then you send them back and then you are on the stem cell register. So if you are interested in that, I will link below. Lots of love. Ah. Why is, I've been doing this for so long. Why is ending a video still so awkward?